Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Nelly. Dreams are symbolic. God may speak to you by showing you an eagle in a dream. In most cases, this is when you have to study the character of that animal or a bird and try and understand what God is saying to you. Today we're going to be talking about what God may be saying to you when you see an eagle in a dream. One of the characteristics of an eagle is they can fly alone at a high altitude while other bears are hiding through the branches and trees. When it comes to an eagle, it just goes through the storm with no problem. So when God shows you an eagle from a dream, God may be showing you and warning you about the people that you're moving around with. He's also telling you to keep good company. Don't just move around with people that will bring you down. Because the people that you're keeping company with may limit you to move forward in life. You need to choose people that are just like you. Because where you are right now, it's time for you to get out from the situation. The storms that you are in, be able to get out of those storms easily. You'll be able to maneuver your way out of those storms. And people around you won't understand how you are able to do that. And the next character when it comes to eagles is they've got a very strong vision. They've got that ability to focus on something up to five kilometers away especially when it comes to their prey they will remain focused no matter what obstructions will come their way until they're able to grab their prey god may be telling you when it comes to this dream is he's going to give you a great vision a vision that even the people around you may not understand how you're going to be able to achieve this kind of a vision some will even think you're crazy this is when sometimes you have to make that decision to get out from your comfort zone and remove yourself from such people that would distract you. People that would tell you you will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve. Whether it's family or friends, they must distract your plans. No matter what obstacles you will face, God is telling you that he will be with you. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reads, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans for you to prosper, but not to harm you. So when God shows you that eagle in your dream, He's giving you that vision that he has put in your spirit. When it comes to eagles as well is they test before they trust, especially when it comes to the female eagles. They will test the male eagle before they even trust them, especially when they want to mate with them. They will test them first if they are committed. It's amazing how eagles are so different from us human beings because with us human beings, sometimes we don't even get to test the people that we bring into our space whether it's a spouse or friendship or even a business partner. So when a male eagle wants to mate with a female eagle, the female eagle would test them first. She'll fly back and forth high up in the sky to see whether that male eagle will keep pursuing her. If she recognizes that he's pursuing her, then grab a tweet and continue to fly further up. Once she's read the height that is high enough, she will then drop the tweet and watches it as it falls. The male eagle has to make sure that he catches that tweet before it hits the ground. When he manages to do that, he has to bring it back to the female eagle. That way he gains a trust. This may go on forever with heights and creases. It's just a way of them playing. Only then she will allow him to mate with her. So when it comes to this dream, God may also be telling you that don't just trust anyone. Even when it comes to a prophetic word, test the word first. Don't just trust anyone, whether it's to do with your private life or business. Test the people that you're with before going into partnership with them. And the next character when it comes to eagles is they don't eat dead things. As compared to other vultures and animals, they will wait for something until it's dead for them to eat it. But when it comes to eagles, they only feed on fresh prey. So God may be saying to you when it comes to this dream, stop dwelling on your past. Stop feeding your mind on things that died long time ago, like the vouchers. You need to dwell on the future. Forget about your past. It's long gone and it's long died. So be careful on what you feed your eyes and your ears on. Another character when it comes to eagles is they're very patient during their growth. As they grow older and weak because of their feathers being worn out, they begin to slow down. Eagles teaches us how to become patient and have that perseverance. So when you have a dream like that, you may be praying to God for healing. And God is telling you that he will restore your health. More or less, you'll notice this dream will come to you when you've been asking God to restore your health. So basically, that is why you should take dreams seriously. You're not just seeing eagles. Even if it's not an eagle, pay attention to the characteristics of that animal that God may be showing you from a dream. At times it depends on the content of the dream as well. But when God speaks, he's speaking to you and only you would know. 